when light tries to escape from a denser medium or a denser material into a less dense material so for example if it's moving from glass into air then if it hits if that ray of light that's the direction the waves are traveling in there are the waves wave fronts if that ray hits the boundary at a large enough angle it's possible to get a perfect reflection off that boundary back into the glass and that is called total internal reflection and it only happens when when light goes from a denser medium into a less dense medium it doesn't happen the other way around so total internal reflection occurs when the angle of incidence incidence is greater than the critical angle for that material the angle of incidence is the angle between the ray and the normal line and the normal line is the line which is at right angles to the surface where the ray is trying to escape and here it is the angle of incidence in this case is 30 so we've got three cases here where the angle of incidence of the ray is coming in at different angles and we need to be able to explain what happens to that ray to work this out we can use the, the mnemonic RNAR and what we notice is that the ray is already drawn for us so here here are the rays of the light so that's okay we've got that in fact we can call this the incident ray because it's the ray that's approaching the, the point at which something is going to happen we've also got the normal line on the diagram so that's good and that's the line which is at right angles to the surface and now we've got the and we've actually got the angle of incidence here as well so here's the angle of incidence which we can call I in this case it's 30 degrees now different materials have different critical angles so for glass the critical angle C is approximately 42 degrees so we're beneath in this case here we're beneath 42 degrees for our incident angle and that means that we won't get total internal reflection but we will get some small amount of reflection just a partial reflection from that surface and the law of reflection tells us that the angle of incidence will equal the angle of reflection so angle of reflection here r equals 30 only a little bit of light will reflect back into the glass block the rest of the, the ray will escape and using the last r here which stands for refraction and speed away if light speeds up as it comes into air which it does then it will speed away from the normal and so the refracted ray will speed away from the direction it was going in it's gone that way and we've got the refracted ray by the way the angle of refraction is here I know it's also labeled R as well that can be a bit confusing but that's the angle of refraction and this is the angle of reflection okay so far so good so what about the case when the angle of incidence equals 42 degrees so in the first case it was the angle of incidence is less than the critical angle oh not degrees C degrees angle when it's equal to the critical angle then we get an effect where the refracted ray just skims along the surface of the block we do get some partial reflection as well so there's the partial reflection and that's 42 degrees the angle of reflection but most of the ray comes out of the block and just travels along the boundary and that's the refracted ray in this case that's when the angle of incidence is equal to the critical angle a useful one to remember finally when the angle of incidence is greater than the critical angle in this case 
then we get total internal reflection. We don't get any light being able to escape here. So it, it's all reflected internally. And there we are. And the angle here, the angle of reflection, 60 degrees to match the angle of incidence. And there we have total internal reflection. Now, total internal reflection has a lot of uses. Because we get a perfect reflection, a perfect reflection, and it's internal, we can use it, for example, in binoculars um, to create a perfect reflection of... If we used mirrors, mirrors don't give us a, a very good reflection because we get, um, we get a double image unfortunately with mirrors but with with uh, using glass blocks we can use total internal reflection to get a nearly perfect reflection and image fiber optics bounce light rays down the inside of the fiber optic cable and and that's all total internal reflection perfect reflections off the inside of the cable and they can travel for many many kilometers uh, in that way and very very fast. So total internal reflection remember R&R will give you the idea of how to work out where the ray goes use speed away for the refracted ray but when that angle of incidence for the incident ray is greater than 42 degrees or the critical angle so that's the critical angle that's when you get total internal reflection.